Hi there, Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. What was all that for? Oh, I have some big plans in the works right now. Really? What is it? Well, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a P. Bathroom break. You're taking a bathroom break. No, let me finish. It starts with a P and it rhymes with the charade. Hmm, let me think. Hmm, um, let me think. Are you getting a mortgage? What? I don't even know what that is. Me either, I give up. A parade! A parade? <laughs> yep, a parade. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds awesome. Who's all gonna be in it with you? I have three people. Who? Who? Yeah, who? 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 The three people in my parade are me, myself, and I. <laughs> Very funny. Wait, are you serious? I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Carl, this is a problem. You can't have a parade all by yourself. Um, of course I can. I'm the leader of the parade. What I say goes. Um, I'm not sure if that's how it works, Carl. Hey guys, what are y'all up to? Hey Jada. Hi Jada. Well Jada, I was just telling Carl, he can't be in a parade all by himself. Well, I was about to tell Andy that he's not the parade police and I can do whatever I want. Well, Carl, hate to break it to you, but a parade isn't a parade if it's only one person. Maybe you can be the leader and Andy and I can follow you. What? I'm not a leader. I can't lead a parade. Of course. Our Bible story today is filled with people who are leaders just like you. Really? Really? Yep. Do y'all remember the story of Deborah? I do. I do. Not. Nah. Well, Deborah was a judge and a prophet. She loved God a lot. Yeah, and her good friend Barak was a leader in the Israelite army. So he was a leader? He sure was. He also followed Deborah because she was a leader as well. That is so cool. But I bet being a female leader like Deborah back in those days wasn't so easy. It wasn't, but Deborah was strong and powerful. She knew that in order to be a good leader, she had to listen to God, and that's exactly what she did. Now correct me if I'm wrong, Jada, but during the time of Deborah, God's people, the Israelites, they weren't listening to God, and they were being really disobedient. That's right, Andy, and the person leading the army was a man named Sisera. Huh, I've heard that name before. He's a bad dude. He was, and Deborah knew God wanted to save the Israelites, so God told her a plan that would save the Israelites from Sisera. And it was an awesome plan. Deborah told her friend Barak to take 10,000 men to Mount Tabor. Yep, and God would bring Sisera and his army to where Barak was so that they could defeat him. Well, that's kind of scary. What did Barak think? He was nervous. He asked Deborah to actually come along with him so that she could help. Deborah agreed to help and said God would help also. God would give them the chance to defeat Sisera once and for all, but... But? Why but? But God wouldn't deliver Sisera through Barak, but through the hands of another woman. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. So Barak took 10,000 soldiers and met Sisera, but Sisera brought 900 chariots with him to battle. Oh no, I bet Deborah's terrified. Well. Huh? Well. Andy, what are you doing? Sorry, I meant, well, Deborah wasn't terrified. How's that possible? Deborah knew even though Sisera and his army of all those chariots were intimidating, she knew she was not gonna be afraid because God was with her. Andy's right, Carl. She said, get ready, cause today is the day God will give us victory over Sisera. God is marching ahead of you. Holy moly, that's huge. It was, so Barak and his armies charged Sisera and all the chariots and guess what? What? They defeated all Sisera's army. No why? Yes way, Sisera saw his army fail and ran away. And just when he thought he found a safe little hiding spot in a tent that belonged to a woman named Jael. And Jael took care of Sisera so that way he would never hurt the Israelites ever again. <laughs> nice, that is such a good ending. But I know there is a lot we can learn from this story, Carl. Like don't name your kid Sisera? No. Well then I don't know. Well, this story is 
filled with leaders. Barack, JL, Deborah, all of these people had different strengths and weaknesses. Some had doubts and some had unshakable faith that led them to do amazing things. But no matter what, they did what God wanted them to do. And it is proof that God calls all different types of people to be a leader. Wait a minute, are you saying anyone can be a leader? Yup. Even Andy? Yup. Even me? Of course. <laughs> wow, how cool is it that everyone can be a leader? And how cool is it that you just said our big idea? <laughs> what? What? I, I didn't. But I, I didn't know. I didn't know. What? That's a. Wow. What? Today's big idea is everyone can be a leader. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Everyone, everyone can, can be, be a leader. leader. <laughs> All right. You can. Yes. I can. <laughs> Jada can. Apparently Andy can, which blows my mind. I would have never seen that coming. <laughs> right, Andy? What? Yeah. Well, I'm excited about your parade, Carl. Me too. I also love my parade hat. Not only because it looks cool, but it holds my snacks. Well, alrighty then. See you next week, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road Hero.